Mohammed, are you there? Yes, yes, I am here. We have 12 students, so. Okay, for this one, neglecting the friction. It means we don't have any non-conservative force. Again, you will, you may say I want to use the form one, but form one calculating the work done by the mass, sorry for by the weight. You could see it's a little bit. Okay, let's do recall. Okay, again, you may say I want to use the first form, which, okay, first of all, there is no friction force. We don't have any non-conservative force. You may say I want to use this one, the first form of principle of conservation of energy. This is the work done by all kind of force because the N is always perpendicular to the surface of motion or the direction of motion, the work done by N is zero. But you need to calculate the work done by weight of the mass, mg. From this point, which is the initial state, till this one, which is the top of the and you, you could see in the last discussion, it's not an easy job. Okay, but that's optional. We can do this one, but to avoid calculating the work of conservative forces, because here in this form, I have just worked out by NC, NC means non-conservative force. I use the second form of conservation of energy. I don't have any friction. This term it is zero. Then I look at the problem now. Please help me. The initial state and the question asks, calculate the minimum deflection for the spring to avoid the separation between the mass and the loop, not just at the top, at all points or at all times. Before I start solving this problem, do you agree that the most probable point to experience separation between the object and the loop is the top of the loop? Do you agree? Yeah. Yes. Why? You may ask why. Do you want I answer why? Or it's obvious? Yes. Is it clear or I go to it? Why? Hello? It kind of seems obvious, but like we wouldn't know how to explain it in words, or I wouldn't know how to explain it in words, I guess. Okay. It's because it's, it's the highest point and you're upside down, but that sounds like a stupid answer. Okay, this is what we observe in, yeah, but we, we can translate it into mathematical language as well. Consider, for example, this one. At this point, for example, this is my mg, yes. This is my n, yes. This is, this is alpha, yes. 
then this is pi over two minus alpha. Do you agree? Yep. Yeah, so then if I write Fn, this is not part of the solution, but to just say why, to make sure the mass remains in contact with the loop, we just look at the most tricky point to show why the most tricky point is the top of the loop. That's why we go through it, but it's not necessary to write it down as a part of answer if you face it in the exam question. It's M with over the which is A M. Can you tell me for this case in normal direction, N is positive? Yes. Because this is direction of my E hat N. Yes. Yep. Mg cosine. Yes. Plus Mg cosine. Alpha, yes. If also, this is always positive. Do you agree? This one is always positive as well. It's mg minus mg cosine alpha. Yes. Yes. Well, okay. The condition for separation is N be minimum. Yes. Less N, it means most probable to have separation. Do you agree? Yeah. Now, this is a positive value. You subtract some value, yes? Yeah. Do you agree that when you have maximum value for this one, yes? You will have minimum value for this one? Because uh, wouldn't it be when um, alpha is equal to zero? Exactly. And it happens when alpha is equal to zero or cosine alpha. And when do you see the alpha equal to zero? Alpha is the angle between? Yes. These two, between the direction of N and the direction of N axis. Sorry, the MG and N axis. This kind of thing. Here you ex experience alpha is equal to zero. Is it clear? Yeah. Then here you can have minimum value of the surface reaction force. This is the most, that's why to solve the problem, if you make sure the mass remains in contact at this point, yes. Therefore for the other points, definitely it remains in contact. Is it enough, this explanation? Yes, no? It doesn't answer the question, yes. does it? Sorry? It doesn't exactly answer the question, does it? Like the no, initial no, no. question. No, no, no. Now we start the sol solution of the question. Okay. Till, no, no, no. Because when I start solving the question, I just look at two points. Initial state, yes, which you compressed the spring, what value D, yes, you want to calculate. And to make sure it remains in contact at all points, I just look at this point, top of the loop, point two, yes. You may ask why you just look at point two, the top of the loop, to make sure it remains in contact at all points. Yes, that's why we just look at the top of the loop. Because the minimum value of the reaction, surface reaction force happens at top of the loop. 
And if you make sure it's not zero here, definitely at all other points, the n is greater than this minimum value. And when you have a non-zero value for n, it remains at, in contact. Is it clear? Yep. Okay. I told you this is what we discussed, not part of the solution. I just went through it because I told you, may, you may ask why we just consider point two to make sure it remains at all, it remains in contact at all times. Why you don't consider the conservation of energy between one and this point called point three. Why point two? That's the answer, why point two? which is not necessary to include in your solution if you face it in the exam. Okay, potential. We said in this course, potential energy can be due to two sources, the gravitational or due to the elasticity of the spring. For the spring, if you remember, if this the question, is, can it be due to both sometimes? Definitely here in this example. Uh, oh yes, yes, not in this example. We have both of them. We have a spring here, we have mass here. Yeah. Wait, sorry about that. Uh, the way we define it, we say, okay, assume you, this is the spring at rest. It means no stretch. Definitely there is no force and definitely there is no energy. But if you compress it with some S because it's compression, you have minus S. The V, you can call V E, E stands for elastic. It's one over two K stiffness of the spring minus S to the power of two. And now another situation, assume you stretch the spring by some magnitude, S. Because you stretch it, you have elongation, increase in length, plus again, Y over two, K plus S. Then you can see the potential energy for a spring is always positive, because this is positive, K is a constant, we call it the stiffness constant, you can measure it experimentally, it's positive. But VG due to gravity could be positive, MGY could be negative, depends on your chosen reference point and the position of your object with that reference or data. Is it clear how we, did, how we define the potential energy of a spring. You need just to calculate the elongation or compression, compressed lengths and to the power of two multiplied by K and divide by two. Is it okay? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. This is just definition, you know. No. Here, at point one, what's my VE? Sorry, V. Okay. First, I need to define my reference or datum plane, yes? to be able to measure the potential of the weight. I use this one, you can use any other points. You will see the result is the same. Okay, does it have any potential, the mass, using this chosen reference point? Does it have any potential at the state one? Yes, no? Then they hide from the spring. No, no, no. Is it, First, we look at the potential the spring? because D can V can be due to gravity, weight, and due to a spring V. Do I have any VG for this state? No. 
because the distance of the mass and the chosen reference point is zero. That is mg multiplied by zero. For the spring, do I have any potential due to spring? I thought so. Definitely, because you have compression, because the question asks, calculates the minimum deflection of the spring to make sure the object remains in contact at all times. Yes, to initiate the movement of the mass, you need to compress the spring, yes? With some D mean, yes? Okay. Lord. Do you agree? Yeah. What about kinetic energy at this point? I call one, one means at state one. This is the definition of kinetic energy we had. And also we worked it out as well based on definition of the work done by a force. Do I have any kinetic energy at the state one? Zero. Released from rest. Perfect. Then V1 is zero. Okay. At two, V two equals to V three plus V. At this point, do I have any potential energy due to gravity or weight? Do I have? Yep. Positive or negative? Positive. Yeah, because the object is placed above the reference line of play or datum point. It's plus two R. Any elastic potential energy due to a spring? Do you observe any spring here? No. No, it's zero, there is no spring here. Then T2, I just put M E2. No friction, the question states clearly no friction. Therefore, non-conservative force I don't have is zero. I just replace T1, T2 in this form of The rest is similar to the previous problems. Then I will have TV1, non conservative force zero, then there is no work due to non conservative force. This is NC means non conservative from state one to state two. T2, V2. If I replace this information, which we agreed here, I will have zero because velocity is zero here. One, two, the mean. This is my unknown. I want to calculate equals to one over two and V two plus to MGR, my V2. I don't know this one as well. One equation to announce. Can I solve it? No, then I need another equation. Again, I just use the same thing we had in the previous Examples at point two, 
if you write, I just go quickly through it because we repeated it two times. It gives you n equals to minus mg plus mv2r. And to keep contact, n is greater than or equal to zero. Which this one gives my v mean yes to the power of two equals to R C. If I replace this one here, this is the velocity at point two, yes? This is velocity at point two because we look at the equilibrium of force at point two. At state two. Then if you replace it here, you will have one, two, K, D. Now you have one equation, one unknown, which is this one. To N R G two and two can be cancelled and the mean squared equals to five inch R over K. I take a square root plus minus, I ignore because I just look at the, I know it's minus because it's compression, but I just look at the magnitude, that's fine. The square root of this one, if you replace, you have mass, M, G, R, K, everything is given. This is the minimum deflection due to compression you need to have. To avoid separation between the object and the loop at any point. Any question? Uh, yeah, how did you get the, um, the well the um, velocity at point two? Exactly similar thing we did for last example. You agreed here we discussed in detail, yes which I told you is not part of the solution. The most probable point to have separation is the top of the loop, yes? Yeah. If I make sure there is no separation, separation at this point, definitely there is no separation at the other points. Yeah. Thank you. Now, then I look at the equilibrium of force. Oh, I, I think I see. Oh, yeah, okay, I, see, I see now. It's what it's it's yeah. It's literally what yeah, I went. I went quickly through it because we had two times before in the, in the last two examples. Yeah. Okay. That's why I went very quickly through it. Yes. Then, any other questions? Um, I have one. It's not really related to what we're doing now, but that's fine. Um, that's fine. Let, let, me, gonna... let me to uh, before we go. How did you find the tutorial? Can you show the video, doctor. It will take longer. Yes. How, how did you find the tutorial? Thank you, man. Yeah, yeah, it was very really helpful. It would, it would, they were different questions to the one we had, like we were supposed to have. Yes, because I thought these are a little bit, you know, challenging. It's better to, because later you will have all the solution for tutorial sheet. And sorry, it took longer than this is just exceptional case. Yeah, yeah. From next lecture. Uh, I did find um, this, this is just um, like, well, not really general feedback. It only happened once, but I did find a um, solution for question two of the tutorial, the actual tutorial, a tad long for a tutorial question. Uh, sorry, can you repeat? I was reading, sorry. sorry. 
I did find the um, solution for tutorial question, tutorial free question two a tad long. Like I haven't really looked at the question. Maybe it takes, it just takes a while to answer, but it, it, it initially for a tutorial question, I thought it looked, um, well, 43 minutes was a bit long. Oh, it was a little bit, you, you, you prefer shorter version of the answer. Well, I don't, I haven't really watched it. I just saw how long it was for a tutorial question. So I was, uh, maybe it does take a while. I don't know. Maybe you go through different processes. Yeah, they, they, I'll, they, I'll, they, I'll just, they, I'll see when I see when I watch it, but. No, no, you're right. That, that's why I provide this year. Last year, I just provided the video solution. But this year with the help of GTAs, we, we use the, we, I use the written solution as well. It means if you want to go quickly through the solution, you can use the written one. Okay. If you want a detailed explanation, you can look at the video. Yeah, I'm like kind That's of. Why I provided two options. Yeah. You can choose. Yes. Kind of feel like I ought to watch the videos, though. How, how, um, how are the lectures? Lectures are useful. Yeah, lectures are useful. And when I upload some supplementary video, you find them useful or no? It's make trouble for you. Oh, I watched them. Good. I got. I watched them. Uh, I'm well. I haven't watched this week's, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll watch them during the week. I haven't watched the second part of the lecture either yet. So, and the quizzes you find them useful as well. Yeah, it they help you for better understanding. Um, I as I said, I found the the practice quizzes a tad harder than the than the actual quizzes sometimes. But yeah, they definitely, definitely. I I, I put the that by purpose. Yeah. Yes. And in the exam, definitely you will see much more easier exam. Yes. At least uh, four, of, four out of five questions are very, very easy. You, know, you can easily answer them. Yeah. I had a question about um, like the third quiz and when it was going to be out. Okay. The reason I didn't really is because some students ask for extension for the second. Yeah, so I, I, I guess it's Monday, not Monday. Monday midnight. Monday. Mohammed, can you please remind me on Monday midnight? Will we have, um, will we get yes, the will, maybe? Sorry, sorry? Will we um, be able to um, do it during the holiday or like the break? Yes, I will give you whole. Yeah. You prefer to. You, you have time during holiday? For me, that's fine. Both of them are okay. Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, well, per personally, I've got stuff to catch up on, so I'd, I'd rather do it during the holiday. Exactly. I can put the deadline the first Monday after holiday. Yeah. Yeah, I'd prefer it during the holidays as well. That's fine. That's so. fine. For me, the most fine. I want to help you. I don't want to make challenge for you. <laughs> yes. Very good. Thank you for your patience. And sorry, it takes more than this. No, it's all right. It's an exceptional case. Yes. If there is any other questions, I'm here as well. I think I'm good on my end. Thank you. If there is no question, have a good day. I really appreciate your feedback. You can send me directly by email. And thank you for your time and attendance. All the best. See you later. Bye. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Bye.